We're shaking people. Back with another reaction, back with some more Kate Bush, and we're going back to her sophomore album, Lionheart, and we're up to a tune called In Search of Peter Pan. I'm fascinated by this title. Uh, I, you know, Peter Pan, it's a character that's, I think, internationally known. Um, it's representative of eternal youth, the idea of a, a boy who never ages, and you know, it's interesting, because I was thinking about it as I came to shoot the video. Um, in search of Peter Pan is a, an interesting phrase. Now, I say that because in the sort of story of Peter Pan, he comes to visit Wendy, and he takes Wendy off to Neverland. And so it's, you know, he is in search of someone else. Now, granted, he's originally in search of his shadow and, you know, sort of the, um, the mythos of the Peter Pan story. But he comes looking for her, so to say for her to write a song in search of Peter Pan, I am intrigued by, because it seems in one respect to turn things around. If I were to guess, I would say that maybe we'll be dealing with a desire to stay young, a desire to, like, be in a place, even if it's not actually a physical island in a sort of seeming, like, other dimension where people do not age. Um, it might be a sort of a desire to find a place where you just don't have to deal with the adult world and all the sort of craziness and sort of heartbreak and cruelty that that entails. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, In Search of Peter Pan could be less about, you know, searching for Peter Pan, the character, and more like searching for that dynamic that he represents, which is to say eternal youth, and not just youth, but like vibrant, energetic youth. You know, he's often shown as being like an adventurer, and he sort of, you know, he challenges a pirate, and he's very um, bold and like sort of daring in the way he does that. Um, so yeah, in a way I would say he's not only representative of eternal youth, but of like the sort of boldness and the sort of conviction of youth, like, without being encumbered by the responsibilities or the, you know, uh, gradations of um, gray that are indicative of adult life. So, yeah, I, I just wonder whether it might be a song um, where she is exploring the idea of wanting to be young forever, perhaps as a way to avoid dealing with the things that, you know, adults do. Nevertheless, let's find out. This is Kate Bush. The tune is In Search of Peter Pan, and it's from her 1978 album, Lionheart. Better on this album. 
sounds different than in the uh, intro to Disney movies. Um, yeah, I love the wicked sound of that at the end, especially. So, I think in the beginning it was sort of, you know, she was going to where I thought it might go. She was saying, like, you know, they'll tell me when I get older I'm going to understand. Um, but it sounded like she didn't want to be any part of that. But then it sounded like there were very specific things happening, like she was walking toward the gates, I think at school or something, but then her granny took her up on her knee and told her that she was too sensitive, and then there was, I think it was a dentist, there was like a male involved who, I don't know if that was like a peer or maybe, you know, like a boyfriend or like an early like person in her life who was special and maybe like he was representative because I think like he had a photo under his pillow and it was of his hero, but then she was saying it was like a pinup. Which normally, you know, pin up, I think it would, it, it would be, like, not a photo of Peter Pan, it would be a photo of, like, a woman. So, I'm not quite sure who Dennis is, or exactly, you know, the, the beats of what seemed to be a narrative. Not just, like, a scene painting, but it seemed to be, like, a story that unfolded in time. So, I didn't catch that, but it does, you know, again, at the beginning, it felt like it was sort of laying the groundwork that I perhaps expected, uh, but then after that I'm, you know, it took some twists and turns that, again, I'm hearing her voice a lot better, so I heard a lot uh, more of the lines, not all of them, but um, I heard a lot of them a lot better, just not quite sure, like, the, the specifics of the story as it seemed to play out over, like, the second and third and maybe fourth verse. Uh, either way, do let me know what you think of the tune. Excited to go through this album. A couple people mentioned that maybe this one isn't quite on the level of the kick inside. Um, but I do, um, yeah, again, I'm here for everything. So it'll be interesting to go through and compare because they came out the same year. So, um, you know, while you might be inclined to compare albums in any case, even if they were separated by multiple years, the fact that these came out in the same year, it does make me interested, you know, how similar they'll sound or whether, you know, even... As the year went on, she was already like pushing into new directions, or maybe you know she had other stuff that she didn't get to include on the kick inside that she wanted to then use here. So um, either way, I'm uh, I'm enjoying the first couple songs. Let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>